Hi everyone, Java Walker World here. Hi there. So, uh, if you saw that thumbnail, we're going to test out one of these no frill airlines to see if we can travel yeah. on the cheap. Mm. So, uh, as you know, everything's gotten expensive to do anything these days, especially traveling, and it's getting ridiculous. So, we're going to test out this uh, particular airline. There's a few of them out there, but we've yeah. uh, we've targeted one and uh, we'll break down the cost for you, see what this costs at the end if you want to find out where we're heading. Got to watch this video. So stay tuned and uh, come along with us and follow us. We'll see you right after the intro. We are frank and firm with Java Walker World. Join us on our journey to quench your thirst for the simple pleasure of a good coffee and explore our magnificent world one step at a time. Alrighty. Welcome back. So how these low cost carriers tend to keep the cost down is that they nickel and dime you for everything. Everything. So uh, you have to pay for a carry-on, you have to pay for a checked-in bag, you have to pay for your seat. If you do not want any of those to keep the cost down, they allow you to carry on a certain amount of size. If you like these little, um, what do you call them? It's called a packing cube. Packing cubes. Uh, so we've measured out what they've allowed us to take in our what they call a personal bag so it's not a, a carry-on bag because you have to pay for that as well yeah. so it's a personal bag like a purse and or a backpack that's very small we've so measured it out and we are allowed two cubes two of these packing cubes each so the dimensions that they're looking for is 16 by 6 by 13 which isn't very big so your trip won't have can't be too long or you take a buy some stuff at the other end at your destination yeah, and just leave it behind through, or yeah. that kind of stuff. Which, which you know, I guess if you're buying uh, something somewhere else, um, you're not really saving at all. But we're going to do this trip really cheap. Yeah. So we're only taking our personal bag each. We will be gone five days. Yeah, short period of time. Yeah. We're able to book that at a very uh, reasonable rate. Extremely cheap. Yeah. Uh, it, it, right? The flight alone for our destination was three hundred and thirty-three dollars and ninety-four cents for the two of us. For the two of us, return. Um, yeah, for the two of us, and that's Canadian. So yeah, if so you're it's American, Canadian. That's like yeah. nothing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's pretty uh, cheap. To give you a hint, it is in Canada. So yeah. I'm gonna keep you guessing. Yeah, we're traveling within Canada. And then, so the other costs that will in, entail to go to this destination, uh, we need uh, transportation to the airport. So basically what we're doing is we're driving ourselves and doing the park and fly thing. But again, to get a reduced rate, you know, I don't know if you know or not, but park and fly, you can get discount uh, coupons here and there. But if you're a CA member, you can also go through CAA yeah. and book through there and they'll give you anywhere from 10 to 25% off. So we're able to jump on that and get 25% yeah. off which winds up being cheaper than a cab, cheaper than uh, Uber, back and forth. So that came out to, I think, $64 or, yeah. or 64 and change, $65, $65 for the uh, five day stay. That's in Park and Fly here in Ottawa. In Ottawa, so they're alone. So you do those two additions, so you're still you know, fairly reasonable. Very now, reasonable. the most cost will be your accommodations. Yeah. So we looked around where we were going, and again, just like airfare, like everything else, accommodations have gone through the roof. Yeah, so the downtown core, which is what we're going to go see, um, it was really expensive. A uh, hotel room was running about 200, 200 and some odd dollars. Yeah, so for this major city. Yeah, uh, so we opted to um, get a hotel by the airport, uh, which is not very far from the downtown core. We will try to figure out how to use public transit um, or what have you. We'll, we'll but see it, if there's it, a shuttle. Yeah, but it I, is. I know from the airport, I'm sorry to yeah, interrupt. No, no. I know from the airport to the hotel we get free shuttle. Yeah. And the hotel is giving us free breakfast. So there's another one. So a lot of them do give free breakfast, yeah. but we looked for that. So free yeah. breakfast, free parking, free Wi Fi, all those kind of things that yeah. hotels tend and to offer. it was half the price of down. There we go. So. so we're saving on that. So we got uh, transportation to and from the airport to the accommodations, which saves us there. Uh, uh, one meal that you can get at the air, at the uh, hotel. And uh, we're looking to look use local transit. So, but we've also opted for one day to uh, rent a car. Yeah, and the reason why we're only renting a car for one day is we are using our air, air miles. miles. 
uh, to pay for the rental car, and um, which is only costing us the taxes and fees, which is eleven dollars. Our insurance, our personal insurance and travel insurance that we have, cover us for the extra insurance that I know at the other end the uh, car rental place will try to push for us to buy an extra, but we are covered. Uh, so we're not going to be paying for that. Um, so we only had enough air miles for the one day. One day. That's all we have left because we've been using our air miles in the traveling that we have been doing up until now. So It does come in handy. I know a lot of people have aeroplanes, all kinds of air miles, and they know how to use them. So that's that's a great benefit, a bonus to your travel. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's one thing to go to so use. So one day, so we're going to take that one day and we're going to see the surrounding area of the city that we're going to. Yeah, drive to the outskirts, the touristy areas, the yeah. sightseeing places. And we're going to bring that to you. You'll be able yeah. to see all this in the coming videos to see where we went, what we got to see, and at the end we'll just give you the whole total and break it down for what it costs for a five-day stay. Yeah, and on top of that, we have budgeted ourselves for spending money. This is will be for our meals, and any sort of tours, anything like that. We're going to try our very best to live on $50 a day. A day. So we'll I don't know you, if we can do it, but we'll, we're certainly going to try. We'll let you know how that works. We might go to the food bank or something yeah. while we're away. No, no. <laughs> I mean, if we can't do it, we won't. But, you know, we'll be honest with you yeah. and transparent. And uh, we're just going to give ourselves this challenge to see if we can do it. See if it's doable. Um, because at the rising prices of everything, um, the way things are going, um, a lot of people are going to stop traveling. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, or you, but I want to travel still. So we got to find ways to cut the cost yeah. somehow. So if the airlines accommodations aren't going to do it for us, we got to try all these uh, uh, air plans, uh, point systems, uh, no frill airlines, and actually see if they're worthwhile uh, doing or. Uh, biting the biscuit and every now and then paying for a little bit extra. Yeah. In the old days when we were a lot younger, uh, we wanted a cheap uh, vacation. You know, a lot of people would go for two weeks. We would just take a one week trip. So that might be the other way we might do it is just go from place to place just for a week or five days and experience different cities mm -hmm. and different cultures that way. But we'll see what this year brings. Yeah, we know how we all say, remember when a loaf of bread used to be 25 cents. <laughs> Not anymore. So Not anymore. Uh, yeah. So uh, life is going to be tough for the next little while, but we will all maneuver through this. And it's funny how we get used to pricing. I think of the price of gas, and when gas uh, started climbing like crazy, we were all freaking out. And the gas price has gone down a little bit, and we're all excited. Oh my goodness, the price is so much lower. It's funny how we get used to uh, pricing, the, the new, new pricing. pricing. And we get happy with that. We and then we are with satisfied it. with that. So, But the thing is, um, you know, the cost of living is going up for everyone. So let's find ways to get around that. So we're going to test this one out, bring it to you, yeah. and you can let us know what you think. Yeah, so we'll share. Come along, find out where we're going. Welcome to our challenge here. We are going to try to travel on an extreme budget this time and probably from the few from here on and we're gonna probably be doing that it is one of those budget airlines that unfortunately you end up having to pay for everything that you want so uh, we are not checking in any baggage uh, we are not doing seat selection those are all uh, additional charges uh, we are not even taking in a, um, a carry-on bag with us. Uh, we are taking what they call a personal uh, bag with us that has a very small dimension that you're allowed to take and that's basically so that it can fit uh, underneath a seat. And Frank's taking a small backpack, I'm taking a bag um, that I have and we're going to be using uh, these uh, cubes in order to keep us in check to make sure we don't take too much with us. What to take on this trip? We'll see. Well, I don't know. Maybe. When we're on our way. Hi everyone. The journey begins. See where we end up and how we did it. And these are the little bags we're taking. That is it. Let's go. 
go on the road on the road again or in the air again about service when park and fly they come right to where you've parked to pick you up headed to what do you mean no, say headed something. to gate 22 gate 22 gate Departures Lounge. Okay, so I hope that piqued your interest. So uh, come along and see where we do end up. But most important of all, don't forget to subscribe, comment, hit that notification button. It helps us immensely so that we can keep bringing you these videos. Hopefully that you're enjoying them. See where we end up. We bring you sights and sounds of different places. Join us next Sunday to see where we end up and let's discover this new destination together.